heat. How am I heating the van? What I would do differently if I built this van myself? I did not build this van. I didn't have much say over how it was built or anything like that. I bought it built as is. And the builder insulated the van, he did, but he did a very minimal job of it. So I just wanted to talk to you a, a little bit, a lot of bit about uh, insulation. If you're not keeping that heat inside, then you know, you're wasting a bunch of energy. Boom, so here we are. Ugh. I was losing daylight, so I just pulled over here on the side of the road somewhere in some industrial area. And I just wanted to show you real quick what I got going on with the heat. No bullshit, no frills, no emotional fucking baggage that I'm gonna dump on you. Just the facts, man. First and foremost, I'm talking about, you know, I don't have solar, I don't have anything like that. I've got a low budget build. And this is the fucking heater to have, no matter what. This is a Mr. Heater portable buddy. Let me tell you a couple reasons why it's the heater to have. First off, we'll start off with safety. It's got a tip switch, so if it tips over, it'll shut off. It's got an oxygen sensor in it. I also run back there a carbon monoxide sensor because I want to know if I'm going to die. I want to know if something's on fire. Inside of this thing, it's also got its own oxygen sensor. And if it senses that there's too much carbon monoxide, it'll shut off on its own. I never fall asleep with it on. Mainly what I do is I just turn it on right before I go to bed. And then I turn it on in the morning whenever I wake up. And that's usually all I run. But in the case that I fell asleep or something like that, it would shut off on its own. Aside from the safety features and why this thing is so rad, it uses regular Coleman, you know, propane. Just boop, shove it in right there. I also cook with this too. So as far as what I have to carry, it's very simple because um, I just carry these and I have an adapter that goes on here and I have an MSR, a little camp stove that I screw onto the top of this and that's how I cook. But I use the same bottles for heating and for cooking. These last about an hour and a half, two hours. You can expect one pound of propane to last you about two hours for this heater on a low to middle setting. Um, so, you know, for me, if I do an hour before bed and an hour after uh, when I wake up, that's really not enough. So what I've done here, this is a, this is Mr. Eater brand. This isn't some goofy thing that I went to Home Depot and did, and I wouldn't recommend that. You should get the good shit. But this right here is a Mr. Eater brand adapter hose that allows you to hook it up to a regular propane tank. This is 20 gallons uh, for about 15 to 20 days before I have to worry about uh, getting it refilled. You can buy four of these for $20. This is 56 if you don't have a core, if you're just going out to buy one and you get about 40 hours out of that. So ultimately it's more cost effective. It does take up space in the van. That is a thing, you know, but to me uh, in the winter in Denver, I would give up all the space in my van to be able to be warm. Facts, like I said, Mr. Heater, portable buddy, hose, two propane tank, and that's really all you need to know. And I'll, I'll just kick it on for you real quick so you can see what happens. So get that going there, come over here. Hold down the pilot light for a second, boom. And then it'll kick on. And then you turn it up. And now it's warm. You can see it kicking up right there. No, whatever, whatever other people do, I don't care. But here's what I do. I shut it off at the tank. And then I let it fizzle out here. And the reason I do that is so that I don't get any residual propane in the line. I don't get anything that leaks out. It doesn't smell all weird. You can see it there kind of starting to, to fade out. And it's gone. And then I take this and I turn it off. That's really all I've got today. But the most important thing to me right now is staying warm in this van. Last thing, uh, real quick, I just want to let you know that <laughs> I'll put links into everything down below. Um, so that you can check it out for yourself, but spend your money on insulation. Peace.